Good morning, everybody. This is Roland Barbecue Smoker Pros, Brasselton, Georgia. And I get a lot of phone calls and texts about sinks, sink setups, border health. They want to pass the border health. They want to know what's required. Let me start off the video by saying contact your local border health for the rules and regulations, and we can custom design and match the specs of your local Board of Health. By that I'm saying is we've sold smokers and corn roasters in almost all lower 48 states. We've sent them to other countries, Bahamas, Jamaica, Africa, France, Scotland, England, Mexico, Canada, Canada, Puerto Rico. So we've been able to build what the Board of Health wants. I'm going to give you a typical example of a Board of Health setup. Again, contact your local Board of Health. First of all, hot water system. We use, generally, we use a propane hot water heating system, which makes a ton of sense because you're going to have, you know, your propane tanks on your corn roaster, on your barbecue smoker, on your grill, on your concession trailer, you're gonna have propane. I don't understand how other people do electric systems. Um, that's gonna cost you either buying a generator, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for enough amps to run it, or you better have a 200 foot extension cord or wherever event you go, you better buy the electric package. So I really recommend stay with propane. Plus the electric ones have a, generally a glass um, heating element inside and that breaks. So we use propane. Our stainless stinks, sinks are NSF stainless. These are not Home Depot setups. Not, not trying to put down Home Depot, but most of that's residential. This is a thicker stainless NSF. The stamp is actually on the bottom of these. We do the triple sinks with hand wash station. Yes, I've heard some Board of Health will, will pass you with just the triple. We even built one up for Chicago area, which actually just wanted a double, which shocked me. I would say go with the triple sink, hand wash station, double faucets, NSF, stainless, with the basin drains and the basin caps, I guess you call these. This is our number one build. But again, check your local Board of Health. After that comes your water tank. Most Board of Healths want a minimum of five gallons. We can do five gallons, eight gallons, 12 gallons. I think we even have a 20 gallon in the back for a special order for somebody. So water tanks are not really a much of a problem. This one runs off a 12 volt battery. You can buy the batteries. Most of the time, the best prices are at Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, and you don't need a big monster battery, just a little tractor battery. Here's one that we use to demo all the time. You can see it's not a big battery at all. Drain can be a tub system. So your drain can go out to a tub underneath. And we have Rhino Systems. So contact us. Rhino System is a heavy-duty tub-on-wheel system. So you tell us what you need. We can get it for you. Our lines are clear. That's what Board of Health wants to see. Our hoses are 100 PSI hoses. Our water tank gets up to boiling in less than a minute. So I hope that helps explain a lot. We can custom design. This is actually a corn roaster here, but we do them obviously on trailers and smokers and food carts and food trailers. And we actually repair some on food trucks. 
So if you need a repair job, give us a call. We can get the parts for you. So I hope that helps answer a lot of questions on uh, sink setup. Please contact your local Board of Health. This you're seeing here, uh, it's, this is like 99% what everybody wants. But again, contact your local Board of Health. This is your setup, so you are responsible. Just tell us what you need. We'll give you a price quote and get it done for you. 770-866-2561. Let's make 2023 awesome. Barbecue on.